क्लास फाइव इन योर ई लर्निंग क्लासेस एंड वी आर कॉन्टिन्यूंग अवर चैप्टर ग्रोइंग प्लांट्स एज इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो इन अवर लास्ट क्लास आई हैव कम्पीटेड द चैप्टर एंड आई हैव गिवन यू सम शॉर्ट आंसर इन एम सी क्यू एंड द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट पेज ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज आई हैव गिवन यू द आंसर एंड ऑलरेडी आई हैव गिवन इट इन द ई पोर्टल टूडे आई विल टेक द शॉर्ट आंसर and very short answers so you go through it and uh, i'm telling you all the answers and uh, reading them very slowly i have written here you can uh, just copy it down from the board which is given here as well as I, uh, afterward i will give it in your e portal also and i'm requesting you all the students that please open your e portal assignment section i'm giving you all the answers as well as uh, in, in homework section i am giving you the homeworks so please follow them and copy all of them in your copy so let's start um, growing plants pay, refer to page number 20 at first there are three uh, photos are given first one is uh, identify the seed and write their name in the spaces provided first one is the xanthium seed as the spines are there second one is the hectic seed as they are winged and the third uh, diagram or the third photo is of the tiger nail seed so these all we have uh, written here and you will write all the names in your book next question or the e question is very short answer questions so name the parts of a seed we know what are the parts of the seed the parts of the seed are seed coat a scar and inside the seed parts are cotyledon or embryo embryo within the embryo there is a radical and plumule so you have to write all the parts outer part as well as inside the seed whatever the part is given here so within the embryo there is radical and plumule second question name two seeds that are dispersed by wind we know very light weighted seeds can be dispersed by the wind so the two seeds dispersed by the wind are madar and hiptage we know that hiptage has wings so it can easily uh, carried by the wind third question is name two vegetative parts of the plants we know there are so many vegetative parts whatever the parts are appearing to us whatever the parts of the plant we can see those all are the vegetative parts except the flower or the fruit they are reproductive part so all other vegetative parts are roots are there stem is there and um, leaves are there so all these parts uh, are called the vegetative parts so you can write any one of them but here i have given two vegetative parts of the plants are leaf and root or stem you can write any two of them next question the third question is name uh, <coughs> name two plants that grow from their underground stem as we have read in the vegetative propagation uh, two types of stem can grow another stem or the another plant from them so in the uh, section of underground plant underground stem we have uh, came to know that two plants that grow from underground stem are stem uh, are onion and ginger as well as we can write potato also and sweet potato also so these all are these um, uh, stem and onion and ginger uh, and potato these all are actually underground stem we can write uh, two examples from them next question is which part of the seed contains food for the baby plant as we know in the uh germination uh, stage or in seedling stage the two parts uh, which are called cotyledons they provide food to the growing plant so here are here is the answer cotyledon or the seed leaves contain food for the baby plant you have to write cotyledons or seed leaves contain food for the baby plant so that is the answer and very short answers i am repeating one time one more time first one the part of the seeds are uh, <clears throat> seed coat scar and inside the seed pa parts are cotyledon embryo 
and within the embryo radical and plumule second answer two seeds dispersed by veins are madar and heptage third answer two vegetative parts of the plants are leaf and root stem anything you can write two you have to write the two examples and the th fourth answer two plants that grow from the underground stem are onion and ginger and you can alter your answer potato is also there and then uh, even uh, this um, haldi or you can say turmeric is also a type of uh, stem underground stem fifth answer uh, fifth question is which part of the seed contains food for the baby plant so cotyledons or seed leaves contain food for the baby plant so which part are containing food or which part are containing food cotyledons are containing food now there are e type f type of questions are there these are short answer questions so one by one i will repeat the answer twice so that you can understand the answer well number one question is what is meant by dispersal of seeds so scattering of seeds away from the mother plant is called dispersal of seeds what is the answer the scattering of seeds away from the mother plant is called dispersal of the seed and we know dispersal of seeds are very much needed for the good growth of plant next one question is number 2 question what is meant by germination so we know what is germination germination is the growth of a baby plant or embryo within a seed to form seedling or the young plant is called germination so what is germination the germination of a baby plant or embryo within the seed to form seedling young plant is called germination and you can write also the necessary conditions for the germination are air water and sunlight so these uh, if these three conditions are available seeds will germinate to form a new plant the very next question plants gives us many useful things without expecting anything in exchange so it is a statement and uh, there are two questions um, which we have to uh, search the answer from this statement name any three things that we get from the plants we know we get lots of things from the plant vegetables fruits uh, food grains and uh, whatever uh, any kind of spices timber or wood you can say uh, mineral crystals as well as we get the uh, very important gas which is uh, our life saving gas that is oxygen so we uh, we can write any three of them here i have written three and you can alter your answer as you wish three things which we get from the plants are food grains vegetables oxygen gas or wood and you can write any three from them okay now the next question is or the b part of the question is should we also help others without expecting anything from them in return so uh, here uh, we have to do this because there are so many needy and poor people uh, which maybe cannot return anything to us but we have to help them that uh, as because that is our duty towards the poor and the uh, needy people so here i have given the answer yes we have to help poor and needy people of our surrounding without expecting anything from them in return have you seen in this um, time pandemic time uh, lots of people were helping in their surrounding few people were not getting food to eat few people uh, are still now not getting uh, anything to wear or uh, they are not getting proper water so people are helping them if we will not help them how they will survive and it is our a uh, duty or this is uh, a society where all uh, all the persons are living together so without helping each other we cannot survive that's why we have to help all the needy and poor people who 
uh, need something from us or if we can help them, we have to help them. Okay. Now next question given here, what are rubby crops? Give one example. So what are the rubby crops? Rubby crops are those crops which are grown from November to April. So here uh, answer is the crops that are grown from November to April are called Ravi crops. Example, wheat, gram, paste and you have to write only one example. Clear to you? So till that um, we have completed uh, short answers and at first I will give these uh, short answers and very short answers in your e-portal and after that I will give you long answers. So you just follow your e-portal and write or copy the answers from uh, that side. Again I am repeating the short answers. The scattering of the seeds away from the mother plant is called dispersal of seeds. <clears throat> Second answer, the growth of a baby plant or embryo within a seed to form seedling or the young plant is called germination. What are the necessary things for the germination? You can write the conditions of the germination are air, water and sunlight. Now the third answer, three things which we get from the plants are wood, minerals, vegetables, food grains, oxygen, all things we are getting from the plants. Even wood, whatever the furniture we are making in our home, that is also from the wood and these all things we are getting from the plant. And few kinds of fiber we are getting from the plant. Uh, what are they? Cotton and jute, these all are the plant products. And various things we make out of these fibers. Even our clothes, whatever we are wearing, that is also from cotton fiber. The B part of the question is, uh, <clears throat> what was the question? Should we also help others without expecting anything from them? Yes, uh, we have to help poor and needy people of our surrounding without expecting anything from them. So it is a um, social responsibility. We have to do that. And the last question, what is the rabi crop? The rabi uh, crop are grown from November to April and these are called the rabi crops. And uh, what are the product of this rabi crop? They are gram, wheat and uh, pea. These all grow from uh, grow from this uh, rabi crop or the uh, this type of crops. Now you will do all the answers. By seeing these answers and if you are unable, once I have discussed, you can write your own answers also. And if you want to see, if you are unable to uh, copy it from here, then just go through the e-portal and write all answers. I am giving these all answers in the assignment section. And whatever, whatever the homework you have to do, you have to do in the homework section. Clear to you? Okay. Goodbye. Stay home. Stay safe.